Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and today we are going to be starting another new Let's Build. So I am here on a world that I've actually built some stuff on before. Right here is just this little survival house tutorial I did about a year ago. This is actually like a really nice little design if you're playing survival, just a FYI. I might actually build this on like one of my little survival worlds, but I'm gonna be building a brand new Let's Build today here in creative mode, and I'm going to be building some kind of southwestern adobe style house or something like that and i'm going to be heavily basing this off of a house that i purchased in gta 5 so as you guys know i love to build stuff in gta 5 and uh, build stuff from gta 5 i should say and uh actually i was looking for suggestions for a new let's build and i actually found in the comment section of one of my second channel videos for gta that i should build the house that i bought in gta so um, I'm just going to put some, you know, video on the screen of what it looks like now in the game so you guys can get a general idea of what it looks like. And there's also a video on my second channel if you want to, like, see me tour it. Um, and I'm going to try to recreate this in Minecraft. I'm going to try to do it in this space right here. Um, this is a pretty decent space. It's kind of, like, right on the edge of a water. It's kind of, like, hilly, so I can kind of use the environment pretty nicely here. So I think it's going to be pretty good. And I'm just going to try to recreate this thing as best I can. Obviously, it's not going to be exactly the same. I'm going to make some adjustments to the exterior and to the interior as well. But I'm going to do it kind of similar, so it's going to be heavily inspired. So um, I, I think the, also on this seed, the HDTV Dream Home is right over there. So that's uh, another thing that's on this seed, kind of like around here. And I might put the seed in the description, the, the uh, number on it. But I'm pretty sure if I look at the map, I'm pretty sure we're really far away from the spawn. Yeah, it's like... 1500 16 or 6000 or what or 600 i don't even know but it's really far away from the spawn so um i might put the seed link in the description but let's go ahead and get started and this is a let's build that i definitely want to stick i don't want this one to just be one episode and done i actually want to build this one unlike the last one for the modern house so uh let's actually get started and see what i come up with today i'm gonna try to get the front of the house done today and we'll go from there so i'm gonna start off with a wall here i'm gonna do let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine so three by nine that looks fine i'm also gonna grab some uh pillar quartz some sideways pillar quartz and we're gonna make a big garage here so let me kind of just break a little bit of this space and do a little bit of terraforming as far as the texture pack i'm gonna start with the default today guys and i might switch to the city texture pack later on just depends on what blocks i use because i could very easily use um uh, the sand in the city texture pack for this. I think that would also look pretty nice. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to start with the uh, default texture pack and go from there. So we got five. I'm going to go six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine will be good. So we'll start off with nine blocks for this garage in terms of the width. And we'll go from there. So again, this house is going to be kind of like on a side of a hill. That was kind of tricky trying to find a seed that was good for this. And luckily for me, I actually kind of found this space just right near the HGTV Dream Home. And then I actually like ran into this as well. Like I totally forgot that I built that near the HGTV Dream Home. So that was pretty funny. Uh, but that is there as well. So this is like a little populated area. I might actually have to move that house at some point, depending if I need to run a road through here or something like that. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But this is kind of cool. Nice seed. It's it's very, um, I like the biomes here. I love this little river running through this biome. So that looks really good. So we're going to try to use this seed uh, to the best of our ability here to try to make this a cool build. So Again, this is a let's build that I want to stick because I love starting let's builds. I love doing them, but it's the hardest part for me is just actually finding something that I think is going to be really fun to build and that will turn out really good and then like just sticking to it. So um, this one, I feel like it'll definitely stick and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I like building these kinds of houses, these like Southwestern, you know, Adobe style houses, you know, kind of just like with the sandstone and stuff like that. I think it looks really good. So uh, that's kind of like the goal for this series is to build something like that. I'm going to be using smooth sandstone, try to use some of the new blocks in the TU31 update as well, just to kind of mix those in. So we got this wall started off here with a garage on it. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to punch some windows open here, uh, right there. And let's do one right here. So kind of like have those in the same space. And I'll grab some black stained glass for this. We'll use some some black stain. I really like the way black stain looks in the default, so I'll use that. Might also implement some white stained glass as well. So uh, anyway, guys, welcome back to a brand new Let's Build. Thank you guys for all the suggestions on like the CLD comments and stuff like that. I was just reading the comments on some of my second channel videos, and I saw that people would be interested in you know me doing the uh, Let's Build of the house from GTA, and I was like, you know what? That's a great idea because I I think it's a doable house. And I actually really like building houses from GTA. It's like one of my favorite things to do. So it was kind of just a match made in heaven. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it turns out good. I'm going to start off with some acacia wood for this roof. 
And I'm just going to run it all the way down. This this seems like a really good space for this, though, because it's right on the edge of the river. So I can have, like, a balcony hanging over this river. Uh, like Kind of like the backyard will be hanging. And then, you know, this whole slanted space is going to work really nice. So I think the uh, environment is going to play an important factor in this build, which, honestly, I think makes it a lot more fun. That was, like, one thing that I really wish I would have done differently for the Victorian Mansion Let's Build a couple months ago. Is build that on, like, a you know some sort of environment where, you know, I actually, it's not super flat, so I actually have to take the uh, hills and the... You know everything the undulations of the land and into uh into play here so i can kind of uh implement those into the build and it looks way better so we have this to kind of start off it kind of looks like a face out in front here like if you look at it from from like right here it kind of looks like a face so uh what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to take this out let's see how many is this right now we got three six nine twelve uh fifteen eighteen twenty one uh twenty four twenty five um, I'm gonna go like 26. Let's see that 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 makes it 20. I think that's 25 right there. We'll leave it like that for now. It doesn't really matter. I don't know how far I'm gonna take it at this point, but it's gonna depend on what the windows look like. So next thing I'm gonna do is kind of create this um, part that kind of sticks out. And this is gonna, there's gonna be a flower bed right here in just a second. So we have this going up. I'm gonna take this up four blocks. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I don't know. Should I try to take it up four or three. I think I might take it up three. Four might be too many. Three might be good. Let's let's go three. Let's let's try three out here, and then what I might do is actually make this top layer some sandstone blocks. I think that might look pretty good. Some sandstone stairs, that could look pretty nice. So again, guys, we're doing this build on Xbox One. Just thought I'd just throw that tidbit in real quick. Uh, obviously, I do you know most of the let's builds nowadays on the Xbox One. You guys know the reasons. So I just wanted to fill the, fill you guys in on that. Again, this is the same world that I did the HGTV Dream Home. It's actually the same world as the, um, what's it called? The Japanese estate and the um, traditional mansion that I did a year ago. So all that stuff is on this world. This is kind of just like my Xbox One Let's Build world, I guess you could say. So that's kind of what's going on here. All right, so I'm going to take this out a few blocks. Let's go like, let's say four. I think that'll be good. And then I'll take this across like that. We'll break this here. And I think what I'm going to do... Just take this up one more again and i might actually put some quartz blocks on top of this so uh let's see and for those of you who play gta 5 i'm sure many of you guys do since it's a pretty popular game um let me know if you guys like have this house in the game because it's uh i think it's one of the most expensive houses like they came out with like a new update on that game a little while ago like a couple weeks ago and that was like one of the houses in the update and it, I think it was the most expensive one, and that's the one I bought because I really like the way it looked. So um, right here, we're going to have a little flower bed. I might actually expand this out and make it go out a little bit further. I might do that. So I think I'm just going to expand this out a couple of extra blocks. Maybe two extra blocks will be good, just so it's sticking out a little bit further. I think um, it'll give me a little bit more space to add some flowers. So the same thing goes right here. I'm going to take the, um, the smooth sandstone and run it through here. And like I said at the beginning, there's still a possibility I could do this in the city texture pack i think it could look good in the city texture pack as well because i can switch out the smooth sandstone for regular sand and that could look really nice so i'm probably going to do that off camera in between episodes and just see how it looks and if i like it better then i'll continue the series in the city texture pack it would make a little bit more sense as well because the um hgtv dream home was built in the city texture pack as well although i have to admit the uh hgtv dream home looks pretty good in the default as well so i, I don't know i feel like that house looks good no matter like what texture pack you look at it in but um, there's another, uh, I guess, little flower bed area there. I think that's going to look a little bit better in, uh, you know, my personal opinion. I'm going to open up another window right here. Same kind of window, three by two with a little dark oak wood slab right there. And then we'll put some glass behind that. And we're, we're getting started here with this front wall. Like I said, that's going to be kind of the focus of this first video. So uh, let's take a look at it from this angle. Right now, looks pretty good. Again, what I'm going to do is take this wall out this way. And this is probably going to go out to right around the area where the water is. So let's see. I'm going to go like right here possibly. And that'll kind of be like the end of this, uh, that hill. So it's going to be like right along the edge of the water right there. Not actually in the water, but like right on the edge. I think that'll look really nice. And then right here, this is going to kind of go out like this. And this whole entire air roof is going to curve, I guess. So um, I decided to go with acacia wood for the roof, just because it's a little bit more orangey and it's new. 
I could also go with um, jungle wood, like I did on the Italian villa, but I think this is going to be a slightly different style, so I think the acacia wood will look pretty nice. Uh, as far as all this grass, I'm going to clear this out, you know, at a later point, and like probably put like a little driveway through here, put a car, and I might even like run a street through here as well, and maybe even connect it over to the HDTV dream home. So, uh, let's see here. Let me just kind of like break a little bit more of this space. I'm going to grab a tripwire hook. I'm going to place it right in the middle. I think I made this nine block, so it should be even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, cool. So I can place a tripwire hook like right there, and that should be right in the middle. Sweet. And then some other details we can add. Let me clear my inventory and add some stuff. Uh, let's get some oak leaves. Let's get some peonies, some orchids, and some orange tulips, and maybe even a lilac. And I'm also going to grab some dark oak fences and i'm gonna grab as well i'm gonna grab a beacon i'm just gonna make some little lights here you know right on the edge of the garage so it's lit at night time and then in this little flower bed part let me grab some dirt as well but i kind of just put some assorted dirt going around the edge here and we'll do like that and then in the middle i'm gonna put some leaves so it's gonna be something like that and then around the edge i'm gonna put some assorted flowers so maybe like that will look pretty good let's see that looks great okay so there we have we have a little flower bed there we have our driveway with our garage we have like this little space i think this is good so let's kind of continue this let's keep on working this towards the front door which is going to be like around this space so uh, the uh the way you know gta works and i think i've talked about this in videos before kind of talking about the eclipse tower is they have like this portals feature where the outside of the build doesn't necessarily align with the interior. So that's going to be the hardest part uh, in terms of this build, but I think we can manage. We're, we're going to see what we can do, but I'm going to take this up one more. And then what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to grab another one of these beacons with the dark oak wood fence. I'm going to place that, um, let's put it like here. Let's put it a little bit higher. So it's like along the edge of the window. And then what I'm going to do is turn this and we're going to start to create this part of the build. This is going to be like where the front entrance is. And this part will be a little bit tricky. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. I'm going to go like one, two, three, four blocks up. And then I think I'm going to place a sandstone stair right here, kind of four blocks up from there. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this up like this. And then I'm going to come in one block, place that there, turn this, and take this out three. And then what I'll probably do is place a sandstone stair here, bring this down. Basically how it works in this part, it's kind of like this little cylinder-shaped design. And I'm going to try to recreate that in Minecraft to the best of my ability. We'll see if it turns out good. I think it'll be fine. It's not too bad of a design to recreate. A little bit of a curvature to it, but nothing we can't, we can't do. So uh, something like that, that looks pretty good. Um, we'll kind of go from there. So if in theory, if this thing was to kind of turn, it would be something like this. So one, two, three, and again, three, kind of like with one on the edge. And it, that would be kind of like the shape I'd go for there. I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, as far as how high I want this to go, um, let's see, we got one block here above this roof. I think I'll probably go like two blocks above it. So like right here will be the top actually. Don't want to make it too tall because you know that wouldn't really match okay so something like that probably i think that'll look pretty good uh we'll go with that as like the height of it so uh, as far as the rest of this space goes what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take up another layer of sandstone right here and this is going to be kind of like a second little part to the house so again the roof is going to go out like this and i'm going to just use slabs for this so it's going to kind of go up like this, and we'll probably take it back down to right there. And I'll add another sandstone stair, or sandstone block right here, smooth sandstone. Add that there. Take this across like that. We can actually break these blocks. And then this right here is just going to be a little... This is going to be kind of like the entrance right there. So basically the door is going to be here, and then there'll be just a little entrance room that kind of goes inside of the house. So... I think that's how this is going to work, and hopefully it'll look pretty nice. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down next. I think that makes three, so I can put this here. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, and then one. And then we're going to take this all the way up and kind of fill this shape in. And then the door, what, what happens is for the door, the door is going to be right there. So right there is going to be the entrance to the house. 
and this is just going to be like a little space in here that I think will look really nice. So we'll put the roof in on this and we'll go from there. So guys, I think this is going to be a good let's build. It's off to a good start. Uh, I, I'm going to enjoy this. I really am because the interior of this place is going to be what I think sets it apart. It's going to be, you know, kind of simple on the outside in terms of the design, like not too many like fancy shapes or anything like that, like nothing like the Victorian mansion, but it's going to be like the interior of it's going to be really cool, I think. So that's kind of what I'm striving for in this build. I think it's going to be good. I really do. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to have the windows be, again, the same level. We're going to kind of keep the windows all in the same line. So the window would probably be right here, I believe. So we're going to take the glass up three blocks to there. And then all this other space will get filled in. And of course, what we can do is we can kind of make, make sure that that's the uh, level of the windows when it comes to the interior so we're, we're actually see out a side of them again that's going to be the part that's going to be very tricky uh, compared to the interior from the exterior because there's really no correlation in the game from the uh, inside to the outside so that's going to be the hard part so anyway looking good so far uh, what i'm probably going to end up doing is taking a wall out like right here and this is going to go like all the way down a little bit and then it's going to turn here and then run all the way down this way and this is going to go pretty far as well. This will probably slope all the way down towards the uh, the water. So I would say probably to right around there. And that's going to be, you know, the relative dimensions of the house. Probably even a little bit further to like right there probably. So um, just like kind of imagine, you know, some sort of L-shaped design. And that's going to be like this house. It's going to cover this whole space. I think it'll look really good. So anyway, let's continue here. Let's add this roof. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to kind of take a lining of the acacia slabs whoops uh lining of the acacia slabs going all the way around the outside here and it's going to be real simple i think it'll look really nice it'll help us get kind of a better grasp on what this is going to look like so um we'll see what so we'll see how it looks we'll see how it turns out all right so we have one layer here so the next thing i got to do is i'm actually gonna grab some full blocks for this just so it's kind of makes a little bit more sense all these blocks here are gonna be full blocks like this and then i'm gonna add you know the shapes here so it's gonna go around like that so it kind of makes this little i don't know whatever shape that is whatever you want it to be i'm gonna add a few extra blocks here so, so there's a square and then i'm gonna add a, one more layer of slabs here going around the edge like this and then one more full block in the middle and that's going to be the roof of that part of the house and that looks awesome okay cool so this is looking pretty good as a start uh, still want to do a few more things before this episode ends today. Let's start to turn this wall here. So eventually I want to add some sort of chimney. So there's going to be a chimney that's going to run through here. Probably about, I would say about that tall. And then of course there's going to be the upside down stairs for this. So let me place a full block, place a sandstone, and obviously do this little curvy design here like that. And this right here is going to be a fireplace. And I actually have any idea how I'm going to correlate this to the uh, interior. Because like that's like pretty much right above the garage. I guess we'll have a space above the garage. So uh, that's going to be a, kind of like an extra space actually. So that's going to be pretty cool. Alright, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's see what else we can do today. So last thing I want to work on is just to kind of add this little front area. Add the, the floor for it. So I'm going to kind of take this through here. Uh, punch that open. That'll be our front door right there. So there it is. Front door has been put into place. And this is going to kind of just loop around through here. Acacia wood. And I'll probably do something like that. And maybe even wrap this around the corner. Maybe something like that even. Um, Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. And then for the rest of this space, I'm going to kind of turn this into acacia wood. We're going to have to make some sort of slope. So I'm going to do a little bit of terraforming here, which is fine. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? Probably take out a wall right here. A couple of blocks. Something like that, maybe. I think that'll look alright. Take a wall out through here, and then... this is. I probably want to line this up, actually. So, uh, line it up with that, so it's not like just going right into the middle of the road. And this is going to run down, there's going to be a little wall here, and I'll probably droop some bushes off of this. So, let's grab some oak leaves, and we'll put these in. Okay, so we're just going to kind of droop some leaves along this wall. That's going to be kind of like a goal here. All right, so let's see how that looks. Take a step back and take a look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. Adds the greenery that we need. 
And then what we need to do is I'm actually going to kind of break all of this right here. So all this is going to get broken. And we're going to just kind of terraform this a little bit so I can kind of create a little step down here because that's kind of what I want to do. And I'll probably end up terraforming a lot of this later on. But just for now, we'll get a start on it. So let's see. Uh, if I want a little step down right here, I'm going to grab some smooth sandstone again. And we're going to pick take that and put it right there. And then I'm probably just going to do something like this. We'll take the step down right there. This is going to be a sandstone block. These are both going to be sandstones. Take that there. And then this right here is actually going to be the acacia wood. So let me go ahead and put that in. I'm not sure the way I like that corner there. Uh, what I might do is I might expand this out one extra block. So that's not really kind of, you know, changing that space. Or I could do that and have it go like this instead. Um... This might work, actually, doing something like that. Yeah, that'll that'll work better. So that's going to be kind of like the little entrance right there. So there'll be a road that runs straight across right here. And it'll be a sloping road. We can even put like a little bridge right here and driveway. And then this is kind of like the little step up. So just kind of walk up these little stairs here and then right on into the house that is not built yet, but it is getting there. So that's going to be the end of the first episode of this Let's Build, guys. I don't even think I need to call this a pilot episode because I think this uh, this is this is going to get renewed. So <laughs> that's a little um, term I can use. But I like the way this looks so far. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think this looks actually pretty good. So um, the challenge of this build is going to be kind of creating an interior for it that's really cool. So again, guys, before next episode starts, I'll kind of check it out in the City Texture Pack trying to mix up the blocks and see if I like it more in the city as opposed to the default. I'll get your guys' opinions on that as well. And I'll come back to you guys for another episode in a few days. We're going to do this, guys. This is going to be like the Southwestern GTA-inspired Let's Build. I think this is going to be really fun. So looking great so far. I think this is a good start here on the first episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. It's been Dan Lags. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on episode two in a few days. Have a good day and peace out. Mm -hmm.